Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today is so ugly. It's raining, it's gloomy, there is no sunshine whatsoever, and I just really want to turn my day around. So we're gonna make a little quick trip to Barnes and do some book shopping. If you guys watched my latest video, I went to Plato's Closet, okay? I dropped my clothes off, I got $90, and I was like, I could save this money or just put it towards new books. What option do you think I went with? I just love buying new books. I can't help it. I posted my first ever book-related video last weekend, and all of you seem to really enjoy it and you guys were asking for more book content since you requested you shall receive so let's go do some damage at barnes before we leave, I wanted to show you guys my outfit, comfy and warm, because it's freezing outside. I thrifted this crew neck the other day. It says 64, and then it also says Tim Hortons on it. And then my jeans are from American Eagle, and then I have my Uggs on. Just wanted to be comfy and cute today. I just made it to Barnes, so let's go inside and do some damage. I'm actually so excited. Every time I know I'm going to be buying books, like, it just makes me, like, so happy. I don't know. I don't know what it is about buying new books, but it just brings so much joy to the soul and to me, and it's just turning this gloomy day into to a great day. Shatter Me, Archer's Voice. I'm so excited to read this. Five Years From Now, and then Wildfire. Y'all suggested that I start reading fantasy books, so I'm gonna go over to the fantasy section and see. Oh. Y'all want me to get into fantasy so bad, but this is so intimidating. Look how big this is. I don't know if I'm there yet. <laughs> I should get five books. I feel like I'm biting more than I can chew, but like, I really want them. But I feel like I should get four and just put one back. But I want all of these. And like, I will read them. So should I just get them now or wait until I read them, you know? I don't know what to do. got home from Barnes, so now it's time for a book haul. I ended up only getting four books because I was questioning getting five. I was like, this is a lot, and I tend to buy books faster than reading them, and so my TBR pile just like keeps growing, and I can't keep up with it, so I was like, I should probably just put one back, which I did. So book number one is Wildfire by Hannah Grace, and I've read one Hannah Grace book, which was Icebreaker, in the 24-hour reading challenge that I finished and posted. I gave Icebreaker her four stars and I do like Hannah Grace's writing style and and this book has been all over my book talk and everyone says that it's really good and super spicy filled with romance and that's literally just like up my alley and some TikToks that I saw about it they were like posting specific pages and I like briefly read over them and I was like wait a second like I kind of want to read this now so I was like very intrigued so I was like mm, maybe maybe I should get this so it's about these two characters named Russ and Aurora and they have a one night stay 
stand. After their one night stand, they don't see each other until they become counselors at summer camp, which the camp has like very strict rules and Aurora is actually the one that doesn't follow them, not the guy, which I have not read a book like that. I have always read it vice versa where the guy doesn't follow the rules and the girl does. I'm very excited to read this and I do really like the plot and I think it's gonna be a really good book, especially if there are, you know, some spicy chapters in here. I'm very excited to read this. The second book that I got is The Love Wager by Lynn Painter and I'm actually so excited to read this. So I read my first book by Lynn Painter, which was better than the movies. It's like my all time favorite book right now. It's so good, I loved it. Anything by her, I'm like really interested in. So I was like, I should probably try this book out because it's also been on book talk and a lot of people said that it's a really good book, high stars. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued. <laughs> this book honestly reminds me of anyone but you. It's kind of like the same plot, but a little bit different. So the two main characters in this book, Jack and Haley make a wager to see who can fall in love first. Then it turns into fake dating for the weekend because there's a wedding. And as they pretend to be a couple, sparks fly, you know, love's there. They start questioning it. And then you kind of see where the plot goes basically. So it just sounds very similar to the new movie that just came out, Anyone But You, because that's basically like the whole plot of the movie as well. So I'm very excited to read this because I love that movie. I'm not saying that it's the same, but it has like that same plot, fake dating to, you know, actual lovers. Book number three is Archer's Boys. Every freaking time I go to Barnes, I always look for this book. Every time I go, I can never find it. And they finally had two in stock and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm literally snatching that. So basically just from like reading the back, what I gathered is that this girl must have gotten into an accident. She survived, but her dad didn't. And then she meets this guy named Archer. He stirs up her world, makes it complicated, love, passion, you know, oh, <laughs> I don't know. That's just like up my alley. So I'm excited to read this as well. The last book that I got is the first book in the Shatter Me series. And I'm gonna be fully honest. I don't really know anything about this book or the series. I got this book because of one of the main characters, Aaron Warner. Everyone's favorite book boyfriend is Aaron Warner. And I was influenced and I bought it. I really don't know much about plots and like what the series is about. Only that Aaron Warner is like the perfect boyfriend. Like it's everyone's husband. And I don't know, that just intrigued me and I bought it. <laughs> I will be reading it and if I really like it, I definitely will finish the whole series. So those are the four books that I got. I'm actually so excited to read these. I think out of the four, my favorite is probably gonna be Archer's Voice. That's just my guess. And once I read all four, I'll let you know which one is actually my favorite. So now that my TBR pile just grew by four books, I thought I would show you guys the 24 books I want to read in 2024. I cannot believe that this is 24 books. One of my new year's resolutions is to read 50 books. And this is only 24. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Maybe our goal should be 24. <laughs> so let me just show you guys all of the books I wanna read this year. Girl in Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. While We Were Dating by Jasmine Glory. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. It's actually crazy that I have not read these books. I have read other Colleen Hoover books, but these, which is so funny. Now moving on to the Lancaster Prep series by Monica Murphy. A Million Kisses in Your Life lifetime. Things I wanted to say. You said I was your favorite. Promises we meant to keep. So I actually read I'll Always Be With You by Monica Murphy first before starting the first book in the series. It did technically say that it was a standalone book. I just absolutely loved it that I got the four other books. So <laughs> King of Wrath by Anna Wong. This book is also part of a series called King of Sins and this is book number one and I have yet to read it. A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. Then I want to read the Twisted series by Anna Wong. Book one, Twisted Love. Book two, Twisted Games. Book three, Twisted Hate. Book four is Twisted Lies. The Love Hypnosis by Allie Hazelwood. The Do-Over by Len Painter. Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. If You Had Been With Me by Laura Nowlin. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. And then last but not least, the four books that I got today. And that basically completes all of the 24 books I want to read in 20. 2024. I honestly cannot wait to challenge myself to read all of these books because it's basically my whole TBR pile. So that is going to be the end of today's video. I really just wanted to sit down and show you guys my TBRs, the books that I want to read this year, do a little bit of book shopping, and that's what we did. I'm slowly dipping my toes into
into book content and like posting them on my channel but you guys seem to really like the first one that I did and that makes me really happy because I do enjoy reading and I would love to incorporate reading vlogs and just book videos in general like into my content so that's pretty exciting so, so let me know if you guys like this video as well so yeah also comment down below what books you guys want to read this year I would love to hear your suggestions and like what books you guys want to read so hopefully we can challenge ourselves to finish our reading goals this year but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon back with more videos bye guys Mwah.